dragon marking? I think it's an invitation to fight for something known. Mortal Kombat. My most burning question is, to your estimation, how many hours of Mortal Kombat gameplay went into making this film? <laughs> uh, millions and millions. millions. Joe Taslam alone, you know, was probably half of it. I mean, that guy just spent his whole, whole life on that. Um, just trying to be unbeatable on it. Um, hmm. but yes, a lot of time. And it, it was research, of course. Oh, of course, always researched, <laughs> definitely. Is it, I, what's your personal history with the game? Is, is it one you've been playing since 92 to some degree? Uh, not really, no. I, I mm. wouldn't have called myself a Mortal Kombat fan. I'm, I was aware of it. And I was really aware of the characters more than I was necessarily the game. I mean, I played it a bit, but it wasn't, it wasn't high on my, my list of games to play. Mm. Uh, I played a lot of video games. Um, and, um, but no, I... You know, when the script came in, it was really about, oh, this has the ingredients that I feel can can be a really elevated, beautiful, cinematic, sort of powerful version of Mortal Kombat. So it was it was the key ingredients that were sort of there that got me really excited. Well, I, I mean, knowing that you've you've played a lot of games, I, I if not necessarily Mortal Kombat, I really like and appreciate the way it feels like the gameplay is brought into this obviously in the in the fight choreography and that sort of thing i wondered if there there was an aspect of that that felt the most challenging in in adapting from a game to a film we weren't concentrating too much on trying to bring <clears throat> gameplay into it i think it was almost just by osmosis it wasn't a conscious thing certainly the stunt guys were playing the game a lot and and learning from it and getting inside it and understanding it so i think a and everyone understood that there was an element of that visual dynamism that needed to be part of it. But also what I was saying to the guys was don't get too foxy. Don't get too clever. I don't want to be too fruity and I don't want cameras flying around for the sake of it. It's all got to be about character and let's be here with them. I don't want to, if I see, you know, there was... And they got it straight away and they were really good about it. And really the discussions, you know, I'd say, look, that, that is too wide angle, that lens. Stop cheating. Mm. You know, <laughs> I don't want it to be like that. And we, you know, I said, these are the lenses we're using. You can't use other lenses. Then go put a GoPro on, you know, just so because, <laughs> because I, it needed to feel stylistically very consistent throughout. Now, there were times we could sort of bend that around and get a bit more dynamic and visually because it's times you just want to have some fun and just let it be that. Like, you know, Sonia's corkscrewing through the air and then Sonia mm. sort of continued to have that bit of that sort of spiral thing. It was a wonderful camera move that Jason Nelson, the camera operator, did. It was his idea. He said to me on set, so when she's fighting Kano, he had, a, he had the big crane going and he was like, oh, I've got an idea. Can I, can I show you an idea? I said, yeah, great. So as... So he gets the camera up there like that and goes right over the top. Because I, I don't like drone shots. I don't like this. You know, everyone mm. does it now. It's like I would always say to people, no, I don't want any of that. I don't like drone shots unless there's a really specific reason for it. I hate that sort of stuff. And he said, but let me just try to show you this. And then he did that wonderful sort of, and it goes with them as they turn. I don't know whether you remember it, but um, it's in the trailer actually. And he did that. I was like, oh, that's perfect. That's so beautiful. Because it was just elegant and it just, add that sort of sense of fun. So um, it was just bringing in the ingredients, you know, just it's like getting the mix right. The action is all based out of these characters. And I was curious, you know, we've got Cole Young in this, who's not in the games at all. And he's very much the audience surrogate, our, our entry point into things. So I wondered how you kind of worked with the team and, and Lewis especially to create this character and make sure he was something that the Mortal Kombat fans would would maybe want to play as, but also felt like a piece of the universe of this movie. We looked at the ingredients that make up the other characters, first and foremost, and then we, then we took what was baked into the story we had. And, and I said, let's be inspired and take his manifestation from, from the story that's inside it and from that connection, and we know what his connection is, and from that Kunai blade 
it's all you know we need to we need to that's where he's going to come from hmm. he's coming from within the material within mortal combat so we felt that if we did that it wasn't just something like oh that'd be cool you know then it had a had a sort of subconscious this was the hope anyway the a sort of a subconscious connection i mean literally but uh, feeling you would connect and then you look at every all of the all of the not all but a lot of the, the characters have some sort of special magical component to what they do and it's there's a costume based thing there's a visual based thing there's a magic i'll call it that but it's you know it's obviously not magic but it's a, <laughs> there's a supernatural component and so it's really you know once we got the ingredients from within then we applied it over the top and said, all right, what can we do? And then so we thought, okay, what would be, and then we just said, what would be a cool character to play in Mortal Kombat? Okay, if someone's beating you up, you can take their energy in and you yeah. can then manifest it. It's like, oh, that'd be pretty cool. So, um, <laughs> you know, all those things just sort of really built to that. And then, um, and also just leaning into what Lewis is uh, capable of and what his strengths are. So, you know, took that into account as well. 